The Jaden Sancho saga continues. It's shite, isn't it? Watching Chelsea sign the world whilst we sit back on the sofa with a box of stale popcorn. It's just painful to watch. And maybe it's more painful for Solskjaer than for any of us, because I think his bubbling discontent is starting to show on the surface. I'm going to run through all of that in this video for you. Before I start, We've launched our Fantasy Premier League for the season. It's free to join on the official Premier League website. And the prize is a signed Eric Cantona shirt. What more could you want? There is a link in the description. Join it in there. There's a channel set up on the Discord server. If you're not part of that, come on, get involved in that as well. There's another link for that in the description. Nearly a thousand of you on there already. But Fantasy Premier League for this season, a signed Cantona shirt up for grabs. Big up to A1 Sporting Memorabilia for giving us that prize. But let's talk about the latest on Sancho and why I think Solskjaer, he's starting to play his own games. Now, we all know that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has already gone on record with his frustrations about United's transfers. Before the Sevilla game, he was talking about how United need to improve the squad. He said it's definitely about quality and it's going to cost money to get in players who are better than the ones we already have. Talking about United being nowhere near our rivals. At that time, Solskjaer went public with those comments to try and force the Sancho issue. Nothing changed. We still haven't signed Jaden Sancho. And on top of that, The Athletic also did their, at the, at the time anyway, it was their latest report. And they said that Joel Glazer was taking an active role in blocking the move for Sancho and paying the £120 million that Dortmund want and the salaries and all the costs that came around it. And nothing has really changed on that. With the Donny van der Beek deal, Beek, not Beek, drop a like on the video, come on, pronouncing stuff right, I'm listening. Anyway, the van der Beek deal changes nothing. That was an opportunity for United to sign a player, clearly at a lesser value than what he's actually worth. For a 23-year-old Champions League proven top quality ball-playing central midfielder, you should be paying more than 40 million in this current market. We didn't. We got him. That was an opportunity we could not miss. But for the players we actually need, the priorities, United have done absolutely nothing. And Solskjaer, I think he's starting to escalate this war of words with Woodward and Glazer. And I want to explain exactly why. But before I do, a quick shout out to our sponsors for the season countdown. The 2021 season countdown is brought to you by Odds Checker, your one-stop betting hub. Big shout out to Odds Checker there for sponsoring our Premier League season countdown, as I said, it is your one-stop betting hub. Odds Checker just used to be a place where you went to compare odds, but now you can bet directly on the Odds Checker app. There is a link in the description. It is free to download. And the Premier League's only a couple of weeks away. So make sure you go on there, check all the latest odds, get your United bets down there. And let's see what happens this season with the first game against Crystal Palace. But Solskjaer will certainly be hoping that more signings happen before that game. It's only a couple of weeks away, though. But Solskjaer, look, you see United have been playing games through the British press. Dortmund have been playing games through the German press. I think Solskjaer now is starting to play games through the Norwegian press. This update comes from Frederick Filtvelt, who I think he broke the Thiago to United links. Now he's saying that Solskjaer has told Woodward to fix it. That Solskjaer has spoken to Sancho many times and that basically he's starting to get pissed off. And I've said it before with uh, Frederick, uh, the Norwegian journalist there from VG Sport. If he is well connected, which Jan says he is, then his sources are going to be coming from the Solskjaer camp. Just like Christian Falks are all coming from Germany. Fabrizio Romano's are probably coming from agents. And the Athletics and Mark Ogden, they're going to be coming from United. These from Frederick are going to be coming from Solskjaer. And if United are allowed to play games through the press, Dortmund are allowed to play games through the press, Hell yeah, I want to see Solskjaer playing games through the press. So fucking more of it. That's what I want to see from Solskjaer. It's a bit of fight. It's a bit of kickback from Solskjaer. He's not sitting there. Look, Solskjaer's sitting there. He goes, right, I've done my job last season. I finished third with this United team. I need investment to improve. And he's just had to sit there and watch Chelsea sign Havertz, Werner, Ziyech, Thiago Silva. Can't even remember who else they fucking signed. But Solskjaer is going to be more pissed off than all of us because he's been let down. He needs investment and the teams around him are investing. And United would expect Solskjaer to improve on his results last season, but aren't giving him the tools to do so. So Solskjaer has every right to be annoyed and start playing his own games in the press like this. 
And hopefully that can be something that changes and shifts the goalposts. Because United aren't changing. We're unwilling to match the fee that Dortmund want. Dortmund aren't changing. They're unwilling to reduce that demand. I don't think Sancho will be handing in a transfer request anytime soon. So what else can change? Maybe the change can come from Solskjaer trying to push and force the issue. He tried it before Sevilla. It didn't work. Now he's trying it again. Now, there is an excellent article over on the People's Person website by Red Billy who runs through all of this in quite a lot of detail. And it's a finger pointing game at this stage. United pointing towards Dortmund for their price demands. Dortmund pointing towards United for not paying. Reports from, from British press and from German press suggesting that Sancho's demands are too much. Although Fabrizio Romano would disagree on that. Now, it's Solskjaer standing there pointing his finger at Woodward and the Glazers. Pay up. Because Van der Beek was a great signing. But it wasn't a priority signing in any way, shape or form. The priorities is somewhat a right winger and a centre back. And I would argue a defensive midfielder as well. And you could say a full back too. But right wing and centre back, they're the two main priority positions that need to be strengthened. Van der Beek doesn't change any of that. Sancho has always been United's number one target. Frederick there saying that Solskjaer has spoken to him on multiple occasions. He must just be sitting there going, just pay the damn money. Because it might be 100, 120 million for Sancho, which I'm, as, an, as a standalone figure sounds like a lot. But Sancho will A, go up in value. And B, if we start winning pots and trophies, I think he might go up in value even more. It's about investing in things you think are going to grow. And United can grow with Sancho. I mean, it's, it makes sense. It's what, it's what a football club is, but we all know that United is a business first and a football club second. And I've already covered all of that in my video, sort of exposing the Glazers' strategy. But shit has to change if United are going to get back to where we were. Otherwise, this is just going to be a repeated painful cycle. And why these sagas keep continuing? Because United are tight. Under Woodward, the biggest victories of the season are when we get a player for a few million less than what the club wanted. That's why he's going to go down the pub and have a drink about. Not about United winning the league. That's the truth of it. But Solskjaer, he's clearly getting pissed off. And I think these reports from the Norwegian press show that. I like to think that Frederick wouldn't just be making this up and Jan suggests that he isn't. So his links will be close to Solskjaer. And Solskjaer will be getting frustrated at the money that Chelsea are putting behind Lampard while Solskjaer just has to sit there and watch it. Maybe this will be the thing, the catalyst for change. Because with United not moving, Dortmund not moving, Sancho not saying anything, something else has to change. Solskjaer just go in there and just slap up Woodward. Get him to cough up the money because with Sancho, United are a different looking force next season. Without him, we've still got that clear weakness in the squad that we had last year that has not been resolved. But let me know what you think about this war of words that I think is emerging between United and Solskjaer. And it's also the sign of a manager who is growing in confidence. And that's what I want to see. I don't think Solskjaer is as big a yes man as a lot of you would have us think. Not all you directly, but just United fans. A lot of them feel that Solskjaer is just a yes man for the Glazers and for United. I don't think that's the case. He wants what is best for the club. And what is best for the club is signing Sancho this summer. So Solskjaer starts to take it into his own hands. I like to see that. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Before I do finish, before I do finish a quick shout out again to Odds Checker, your one-stop betting hub, and a big shout out for them for sponsoring our season countdown, which is coming up very, very shortly. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Join our Fantasy Premier League as well. Join our Discord. It's all kicking off. Fingers crossed it will kick off with Sancho soon. Well, maybe that's hoping too much.